Say hi to my stolen spade. No, not this kind of stolen spade. Stolen is the bike brand and spade is their 2019 22-inch BMX bike model. I'm turning 35 real soon and I have never ridden BMX bike before. I grew up in Soviet Union and when I was a child we didn't have BMXs. Then the life kicked in and later I thought I'm too old. I don't know what fly bit me this year, but I spent so much time oh riding yeah. bikes. <laughs> and one of the activities was taking my 29-inch hardtail bike to a skate park and I really enjoyed that. And then I thought, why not taking a BMX and giving it a try? I knew that if I don't do it now, it will never get easier. In this week's video, I will not give you any tips how to do specific tricks, as YouTube is full of really great videos from good riders, and I am not one of them. I just started learning bikes a few months ago. Now I can wheelie, I can do bunny hop, I can do some basics, but I'm really not good at it. Nevertheless, it has been many years since I had so much fun as I do this year. To put things into perspective, you need to know that I have injured knee and I also had a back surgery 7 months ago. Therefore, there is a good chance that if I could learn something on a bike, you can as well. Alright guys, so first thing I want to mention to you, you are no longer 14. It takes so much longer to heal up, therefore I recommend you wear protection on everything you can. I just did a bunny hop and uh, I'm so sorry that I didn't have uh, anything on my shoulder. My knee legs looks very similar, my elbow is a little bit better, but still hurts. And I have all the armors, I just took my bike out of the trunk of my car to bring it home, to put my protective gear on and to film this video. Don't do that, always wear protection. That was a simple bunny hop. So tip number one, wear protective gear. Tip number two, manage your expectations. You can see people doing crazy things on YouTube. Remember, majority of them started as kids and never stopped riding. They have put in tens of thousands of hours into training, failing, falling, standing up and doing that again. Just find a rideable spot on the street or in the skate park and do what looks fun for you. It won't be easy and it will take you time, so just find something that's interesting and do it. Stop caring what other people think about you. You might be the oldest man in the skate park. Take this as an excuse if that helps you and keep doing what's at your level. Tip number three. Try and measure your progress. You see in, on BMX or skateboards or roller skates there is no kind of a end for your trick. You can say I can bunny hop, but someone can bunny hop higher, someone can bunny hop with 180 and so on and so on. So it's like, it's very hard to understand, did they learn something or not? So therefore you need to set up some sorts of like little goals or at least reference points uh, so you can understand if you are progressing or not. Let's do that. All right, so this will be our starting point and we will put our finishing point at the place where we will Stop. Your progress will help with your motivation. All right, it just started to rain again. I'll need to go and wait until the rain is over. But uh, I don't know. As for me, that's a decent, decent improvement. Improvement today. Let's see. It's like one two, three, four meters, four meters. Another way of tracking your progress is setting up a video camera, as you will be able to see in tip number four, stay patient and persistent. So the key to learning to ride BMX or roller skates or skateboards or anything like that when you are 30 and above, is to take it slowly, you know, find your tricks that you want to learn, find the stuff that you want to do and session it. What I mean by session is just go and repeat it again and again and again and again and again until you get perfect. So it's not who does it from the first time that wins. The winner is the one that has persistency to continue doing it again and again and again. Tip 
number five think how you will fall because you will everyone falls falling is a part of this game so find a way how to bail and stay away from your bike if something goes wrong it's my day six of riding the mx bike and it's my third time i crash going over the bars just by doing simple bunny hops and stuff and the tip number six subscribe to my channel to see more videos like that hit the thumbs up if you like this video it will let me know i should make more of these if you didn't like it hit the thumbs down button thanks for watching and i see you in the next one